Hey, what's up guys? So for those of you who are looking to pick up a radar detector, uh, I know the decision can be kind of tough since there's so many detectors to pick and it can be kind of tough to figure out, okay, which one should I get and which one best suits me? Well, I've been working on a flow chart to help make this decision process as easy as possible. And so if you're wondering which one you should get, um, go ahead and take a look at my website. I'll put a link here in the video description and uh, you're going to see this flow chart and basically it's going to walk you from start to finish as far as, uh, you know, which detector should you buy, um, you know, and then we're going to start making the decisions. So you want a windshield mount or a remote mount. Uh, we go into where you drive, your budget, uh, if you want certain features like arrows or integration with your cell phone, what platform cell phone you have. So we go through all of this kind of stuff from start to finish to make this as easy as humanly possible for you. Uh, now I actually have done one of these. Uh, I did one last year, you can see. Um, but since then there's been new detectors come out. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and update it and also improve it um, and you know make a better version of it. So uh, if you go on my website, you'll go ahead and find this flow chart and it should help make everything a lot easier for you. Additionally, underneath the flowchart, you're going to find some additional information. The way the flowchart works is, uh, you know, if it's a little bit small, just click on it. It'll go ahead and bring up the image and you get the little magnifying glass. Click on it again and you can zoom in and scroll around and see the whole thing, right? Uh, the way that it works is you have a whole bunch of these blue diamond shaped things. These are kind of your decision trees, your choices, and then the green boxes are the uh, actual radar detectors, right? If you're wondering about, you know, okay, I don't know if I need a windshield mount or a remote mount, or uh, why does it matter if I drive in Virginia or DC? You know, you're wondering what's kind of the rationale behind these decisions, um, and you're not really sure, you know, which decision to make, that kind of stuff, or, you know, this, do you want a basic one or fully featured, like, what's the difference, right? Uh, additionally, if you're also wondering more information about the radar detectors themselves, what you can do is take a look underneath the flowchart itself. Uh, if you scroll down doo -doo 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 -doo, underneath the flowchart, you'll find more information about uh, each radar detector individually. You know, So I'll give you a little blurb about kind of what the strength and highlights are of each detector, and then also some information about the different apps, like Escort Live, or you know, if we scroll down, you've got uh, Yaw V1 and V1 Driver. So all of the different detectors, I give you a little bit more information about it so you can see if it's a good pick for you. Uh, the top section is going to be for the uh, windshield mounts. Underneath that, you're going to find the information about all the different custom installed remote mount detectors. And then finally, underneath that, if you want more information about the decisions themselves, I actually give you the explanation behind the decision itself so you can understand the thought process. And if you're wondering, for example, okay, windshield mount versus remote mount, why would I choose one over the other? Well, here's the benefits of the windshield mount, and here's the benefits of the remote mount. Um, here's why, you know, if you live in Virginia or Washington, D.C., this information is relevant. Um, you know, talking a little bit about budget, difference between high-end and low-end detectors, um, you know, the thought process, do I drive in the city? Why does that matter? The explanation is here. So all the stuff regarding the, uh, the thought process behind each individual decision will be displayed under here as well. So the idea is uh, we're trying to keep the flow chart, you know, simple. There's a fair amount of information here. Um, and if you want more additional information about any detector, or any decision, simply scroll down and you'll find all the information here. So uh, I give you information for you know the detector itself, uh, where you can purchase it for the best price and to also get the full warranty, as well if there's any accessories you'll want, like maybe Escort Live to get you the GPS lockouts in the city, or uh, you know, if you're running uh, some of the remote detectors, you might need some accessories to pair it with your ALP. So all the different kind of things that you'll need uh, will be down here underneath the flowchart itself. So uh, with all that said, um, you can take a look here and this will help with the decision process. Um, at the very top of my website, I do of course have this link, you know, buy a radar detector and it kind of goes over a little bit more information about this, um, you know, the ideas behind what you should look for, um, and actually some additional information about each detector. So if you want maybe even more information about each one, uh, click this link right up here, buy a radar detector, and um, it'll actually give you even more information about each detector. So um, anyways, what I wanted to go ahead and do is give you uh, kind of a simplified flow chart to help with the thought process of deciding which radar detector uh, is best for you. Um, I've been discussing this a lot with the people on RDF um, to kind of, you know, uh, pick their brains. We had a lot of discussion and you know brainstorming and all and this is what we have come up with so uh, definitely take a look here again link is in the video description um, if you have any suggestions for improvements uh, let me know if you have any questions about what I didn't talk about let me know um, this will again be periodically updated as there's new detectors coming out you know detectors get updated uh, pricing changes all this kind of stuff right so anyways uh, this is the latest and greatest newest updated version so take a look and uh, for those of you guys looking to uh, select a radar detector and you're kind of having difficulty um, figuring out which one to choose this should help you guys out so 
Uh, awesome. There you go. Thanks for watching. Take a look at the flowchart, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.